Hello, Virgo. This is your mid-January 2019 reading, and as you know, it will not resonate with all Virgos, but I am attempting to get the majority of you. This is for Virgo, mid-January 2019, five-card spread. And if you want future readings, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. But mid, mid January 2019 Virgo five card spread for the general population. See what's going on. See what the beginning energies are. Let's see. Seven of Swords in reverse has many meanings. It could mean as the incoming energy that you're breaking free from a negative situation that at one time was kind of, I don't know, hidden at one time. Maybe someone tried to get away with something. Maybe someone tried just to be in a negative total situation with you where you didn't know what to do and you're breaking free. For others, <clears throat> you may have found out something about somebody and it came out. We shall see what the rest of the reading goes. But for in the past, yeah, something unfortunate happened to you. A little bad luck in the past. But you may be breaking free from that. Or you found out, like I said, some of you found out about something. This is getting kind of blurry, so I gotta hit it every once in a while. I don't know why it's doing that all of a sudden. <clears throat> Obstacle, you may be losing some strength. Current situation, uh, still feeling a little trapped and not knowing what to do. I do see the incoming energy of someone you trying to break free, and you may actually do it. But the subject at hand is feeling trapped. It's usual mental energy. It's not something that you have to abide by. You can break from this. That's the that's what is attached to this card. Feeling trapped, but able to break free if you really want to. Sometimes you don't think that there's a way out, but with this card it says there is. Outside environment, or what is coming towards you? The devil. Some of you got someone who's a little obsessive coming towards you. Outside environment could also be like obsessions. These are people that are around you, co-workers, family, doesn't matter relationships with some of you very few of you could have to do with addictions outside you know energy is what is caused on all this some of you may be dealing somewhat with someone with addictions or just really obsessive you know there's all kind of addictions not just drugs and alcohol sometimes there's relationship addictions toxic relationships Stuff of that nature. But that's the outside environment is toxicity. Now I'm going to lay this card. The final, final outcome. I'm not going to let, uh, let you see it just yet. Because I want to see these first. And not let this card influence me just yet. And I want to clarify these. But in the past, you're dealing with the Wheel of Fortune. In reverse. A little bad luck. A little misfortune. Things weren't going in your favor. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. For Virgo, why are you there? Could have to do with a partnership, uh, marriage, contracts, engagements, things that were solid at one time. But in the reverse, it means a broken contract of some sort. Something that was the status quo of society. How people portray themselves to others when they're in uh, a contract together. But the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, in reverse for Virgo, why you there in the past. Ace of Pentacles. You were, some of you may be expecting some kind of offer from someone you had a contract with. Maybe a broken contract. Maybe they owe you some money or you owe them some money. But someone is waiting for a money um, a money possible. Uh, an offer of finances. Oof, I'll get that out. Oh. Now, the obstacle is strength. 
It is the Nine of Wands. Sometimes I call this the Eight of Wands by mistake, but it's the Nine of Wands. It is in in the upright, but it's your obstacle. So you're feeling kind of like your energy is zapped. You don't have the, you know, ability sometimes to carry things through. Or you feel like it's really a hardship for you. And some of you, a few of you may have been a little sick with the Strength card in reverse. Could be from anything. Could be from depression, you know. But the strength card, there, why are you there as the obstacle for Virgo? Page of Cups, the emotional offers or messages you are expecting aren't coming through or they're not coming through very well with the page. It also could be dealing with a, a water type energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can I get another card? Now, someone from the past may be really taxing your strength that you really don't want to deal with with the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's negative memories, all kind of stuff. So it could be that your memories are really kind of bothering you. Now, as the current environment or the subject in hand, we got the Eight of Swords. I mean, yeah, Eight of Swords. It is in the upright. It's called interference. Things are blocking you. You feel like things are getting in your way and feeling a little trapped. Why are you there? Eight of Swords for Virgo. That's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You feel like you're not getting any gain, possibly. Can I get another card for the Eight of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Some of you could be, this is maybe you, you know. You feel turned around and trapped because that's the King of Pentacles in reverse. Now, when I see someone in reverse, I'm seeing someone who's not feeling 100%, you know. They're not taking on their power. And this may be you feeling trapped and you feel like you can't take on your own power and, and do the things you want in life. Because the King of Pentacles is an earth element. Like I said, it could be you, another Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. Turn this back around here. Now, the devil... The outside environment. Let's find out what they're about. The devil. Why are you there for Virgo? As the outside environment. Or what is coming towards them. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you may be hearing from someone about the truth. They want to tell you the truth. A new truth that maybe you haven't heard before. Or... People around you that are toxic, you may it may be cut out from your life. You may cut them out. They may cut you out. You may cut each other out. But some's getting cut out also, and the truth is coming out. A truth is coming out. It has to. Now we got the devil, the ace of swords. That's the outside environment. Why are you there? Oops, something wants to pop out. I don't know if that's... It's another swords energy, knight of swords. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But again, the words are cutting. Truth is coming out. And it happened pretty quickly and forcefully. Can I get another card for the night? I'm putting it on the side because I don't know how it's going to fall out. Even though you may have seen it, I do not as I'm shuffling these. I see it after when I'm watching. But I want another card for the devil. Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra type energy. Also, now yeah, someone may be trying to fulfill a wish. Maybe someone is trying to cut out toxic energy that's from your outside environment. Maybe they are finally getting the wish that they want. Maybe the universe is blessing them with a wish that they can overcome whatever energy is occurring. They wish for this. They want this. They want to cut out the negativity. And you want them to also, probably. Final, final outcome for Virgo. You're still worried. You're still worried about this person. I'm thinking you're worried about somebody. You're feeling like you can't help them for some reason. Or you're trying to help them and you don't know how. But they're, they're going to try to work themselves. They're going to try to do this themselves. Cut things out. And if they don't, maybe you'll cut them out. You know? But you're worried. You're feeling like you don't know what to do. You, you feel like something has cost you. Yeah, I think maybe... You're afraid someone may overindulge because it's the Three of Cups. 
some of you, because of this obstacle here, may not want this person to arrive back in your life. But just so you know, if you, for a few of you, for a few of you, like I said, some of this may be people that are trying to get it out of their lives. But you feel like it's, it's too much of a worry that they may just falter again. For some of you, like I said, it's toxic type situations. Addictions, obsessions, sexual addictions, it don't matter. Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, why are you there for Virgo? That's the final outcome. New beginnings. You're, in, you're afraid somebody may just do the same things without thinking, with the fool card jumping in. That's for some of you. Others may be wanting to come out of worry and celebrate your life and go into something new. With the Three of Cups and Fool card together. But worry is there. The energy is there. You're still worried, Virgo, about something. Some of you are really worried. And it has to do with the toxic energy. And you feel kind of trapped in your head about it. But you can break free from this, like I said. Ending energy, the Five of Wands in reverse. Not wanting to fight, not wanting to argue, not wanting to battle with this anymore. And I don't think you will. I think this someone that is around you in the past, as an outside environment, has really taken a lot out in you. And for some of you, you could be doing this to the other person. Just for some of you. But I do see that the universe is telling you you can break free from this worry. These are not major arcanas. But this one is do new beginnings and celebrations. So if you want this energy, take hold of it. But like I said, some of you may be worried that someone's overindulging and will just jump into something they shouldn't without thinking. I'm dealing with a lot of different Virgos here. So this is your reading, and I will be giving you another reading. And I may give you a bonus reading, because this is more like thoughts and feelings and what happened in the past, and you're just thinking about things. I'm picking up energy of Virgo's thinking a lot. Of what could be and what has happened. So yeah, I may get another bonus reading. And this is your, you know, before hopefully February comes. And I will talk to you later, Virgo, okay? And keep a, you know, strong heart. Try not to falter too much, okay? Over your thoughts and feelings. Bye.